In this video, we will learn how to configure GHT details or how to enable GHT in Tally. To do that, we have to first go to company by pressing Alter K and then here we have to select this features option. Alternatively, you can simply press F11 from gateway of Tally. Now, here you can see that under taxation, the first option is enable goods and services tax. So you have to click here and press Y for yes. After that, you have to select the state and then choose your registration type as regular if you are under regular scheme. If you are any other territory SSE, then you have to make this option as yes. Otherwise, you can skip this part. Now, from which date your GST is applicable to your business? For example, in my case, if it is applicable from 1st April 2022, then I have to mention the date here. After that, I have to provide my GSTIN number that is 21AAWCA1665J1ZG. After that, select the periodicity of GSTR1 that is whether you have to file your GSTR1 monthly or quarterly. For example, you are under QRMP scheme and you are filing your GSTR returns quarterly, then you have to select it as quarterly. After that, you have to press enter. You can skip this part here as of now. And then if eWaveil is applicable to your business, then you have to select it as yes. In our case, as we are a service provider, then eWaveil is not applicable to us, then we can put it as no. If it was applicable then we have to select it as yes and then we have to select the date from which eWaveil is applicable to our business after that we have to uh, provide the threshold limit that is if the total invoice value is more than 50 more than or equal to 50000 then we have to make eWaveil and as we know that eWaveil is applicable for interest rate also then we have to make this as yes the threshold limit for uh, interest rate supplies will also be 50,000. If you wish to print the e-waveil along with the invoice, then you can make this option as yes. And if your business is applicable for e-invoicing, then you can configure it here by pressing yes. And then you have to provide the applicability date of e-invoicing. And you have to mention the base from where you are raising the bill. After that, you have to select it as three days that is the default period for the e invoicing reporting and then you have to make this option is yes for sending e waveil details with e invoicing and then you have to accept it after that you have to accept it by pressing enter key or simply you can press ctrl a to accept the window that's it